Hey guys, Bob Morreale here with The Tuning School, and on today's Tech Tuesday, we're going to talk to you about a torque management setting that you can actually screw up and cause you to not get power enrichment. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about a common torque management problem that we're seeing a lot more often now. And it's actually causing an issue where the tuners are going full throttle and they're not getting power enrichment, which could be really scary. So they're literally going full throttle after fixing torque management and they're not getting anything richer than a 14.7 uh, AFR or a lambda of one, however you like to look at it. And so the issue really comes from when people are going through and bringing their torque management limits up, what they're finding is they're setting things to 100%, like kind of like in areas that they're supposed to, but this is an area that you're not supposed to. And so it's actually called power enrichment enable torque. So let's take a look at it. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the problem. Um, let's go on up to engine and then fuel, power enrichment. And then you'll see here the PE enable torque, okay? So this table exists on the Gen 5 vehicles. So the idea behind this table is it tells the ECM that it has to see uh, over a certain percentage of the available torque being made before it allows you to get power enrichment. So if the uh, computer thinks that the engine is capable of making 300 foot-pounds, but you're only making 150, uh, you're not getting any power enrichment. And normally this is not an issue, however, a lot of guys, and we're seeing a lot of tech support tickets with this, uh, they're coming through the torque management section and they don't necessarily understand a Gen 5 vehicle, so they're just maxing things out, which is bad. You don't, you don't want to do that in Gen 5s. And so what they'll do is they'll come in here and they'll set this whole thing up to 100%. And what they're really doing is they're telling the computer that unless you're making all the torque you can make at every one of these given RPMs, uh, you're not getting power enrichment. So what will happen is they'll upload this to the computer thinking they've made an improvement, and they will get no power enrichment when they go full throttle. Um, so what we recommend, I'm going to undo this change. We recommend either you don't touch this, or if you do feel the need to touch it, go in down here and bring it to something lower, like 50%, so that you only have to make 50% of the desired torque uh, to actually get the power enrichment. Um, so in this case, what's going on is these guys are doing it backwards, doing it wrong. Uh, and so we come in and we find that they've bumped this up to 100. So that's a problem. So how does this present itself? So let's go over to the scanner. This is a scan of what it typically looks like. Um, so what will happen is uh, the guy will go full throttle after having uploaded the wrong settings. So you see here, we're at full throttle. Uh, we have this, the scan showing just before you're in the mid-14s air fuel wise. And right after he goes full throttle, you'll see it kind of starts to crash. 14, which is okay, but it doesn't really ever get enrichment. And it actually goes leaner. And you'll see it's trending leaner here, 14.7, 15, 17. And so you see it's it's not good. It's really crispy, 17, 18 to one. Um, and, and you can confirm this by looking at your narrow bands. So you see back here, when it was in the 14s, um, it was up here. So a little bit richer than 14.7, it'll be a little high on the narrow bands. That's normal. But it'll also confirm that once you cross leaner than 14.7, things will go down south here towards, towards the bottom, which is exactly what happened. So we know that this is actually this lean. Really not good for making any power, not good for longevity. It's all sorts of bad. So uh, this is just a common mistake that we're finding people are making. I'll, however, I'll go back over here to the uh, editor file. So like I said earlier, if you're going to do anything with this table, lower it. Bring it down to like 50%. This way that as you're progressing into the throttle, you'll actually get the power enrichment that you need. Hey guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed today's video and I hope you learned something useful from it. For more high performance tuning knowledge, be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on social media. And as always, stay tuned.